spiky. Be careful. It's yikes. Hot, hot, hot. Great. Now I can't even taste my coffee. If you just listened to me, you wouldn't have burnt your tongue and taste buds. It's okay. I don't think my tongue is that important anyway. Are you sure? You can't taste without your tongue. And what's more, you can't even talk without your tongue. Go on. Try saying, I love science without moving your tongue. Ugh. Ah. Uh, uh, you are right. It seems like I still need my tongue after all. Good choice. Let's define what a tongue is. The tongue is a muscular organ that helps us taste food or feel its texture. It also helps us pronounce words while we talk. I can't taste food properly now that I've burned my tongue. Why is this happening? First, please tell me how we can taste something. So, as soon as we take a bite of food, all its sensory information is quickly sorted out by the 10,000 or so taste buds covering our tongue, mouth, and upper throat. See these little projections that make your tongue kind of rough? Yes, they are taste buds. Uh, no, they are papillae. You can actually see them if you look at your tongue in the mirror. But then, where are the taste buds? Taste buds are packed deep down in your papillae. Each taste bud has 50 to 100 taste receptor cells, which register and respond to different molecules in your food. These receptor cells are of two major types. The first type is gustatory, or the kind that actually does the tasting. The second type is basal, which are cells that replace the gustatory cells after you burn them. Spiky burnt his gustatory cells after drinking a hot cup of coffee. Basal cells replace the gustatory cells every week or so, which is why even a badly burnt tongue will start healing after a couple of days. Every gustatory cell has thread-like protrusions called gustatory hair. These are present in a taste pore, which is a small hole covering the taste bud. In order to taste any food items such as coffee or cake, the food chemicals must first dissolve in saliva. This will cause the food chemicals to diffuse through the taste pores and bind to receptors on the gustatory cells, thus triggering taste signals. Once a signal is activated, the neurons transmit this taste message to the taste area of the cerebral cortex. Here, the brain makes sense of it all and begins to release digestive enzymes in our saliva and gastric juices in our stomachs to help break down the food so that we can use it. Did you know there are around 10,000 taste buds present in the human tongue? These amazing little buds can detect four different flavors. Sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. Here is a taste map of our tongue. The tip of the tongue is responsible for sensing sweet, and salty tastes. The sides of the tongue detect sour taste, while the back of the tongue usually senses bitter taste. But it won't be possible to enjoy these flavors without our amazing sense of smell, as taste and smell are interdependent. So, that is why when I had a cold and stuffy nose, I couldn't taste my food properly? Exactly. Without the incredible smelling power of the nose, you can't really taste much. Time for a fun fact. Did you know that recently a fifth flavor has been discovered? Really? Yes. It's called umami. Umami is the Japanese word for yummy. Think of cheese, ketchup, and sauces made with soy sauce. Yummy! 
Today we learn, oh Spikey, you can't lick frozen poles to heal your burnt tongue. You have to wait for the basal cells to replace the gustatory cells. Today we learned that the tongue is a muscular organ that helps us talk and taste. The tongue is covered with rough, bumpy structures called papillae, which contain taste buds. Taste buds are made up of gustatory and basal cells. The gustatory cells are present in the taste pores and contain taste hair. Basal cells replace the gustatory cells. Once the food particles dissolve in the saliva and touch the gustatory hair, signals are produced and transmitted to the taste cortex in the brain, thus giving the sensation of taste. There are four main types of taste, sweet, salty, sour, and bitter.